Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are back talking BMW M47 and M57. So the two and three litre diesels from BMW. Now, I wanna kind of go over the parts on the engines that you can expect to fail around the 100,000 mile mark because typically when people tend to get into these cars, you know, they tend to buy them um, at a much cheaper price because they have often ticked over the 100,000 miles or so. So I wanna kind of make this video then just to give you some insight as to what you can expect is going to need replacing on your engine. So without further ado, we'll get outside and let's get cracking. Okay then, so as you can see here, we have an M47 engine. So this is the two litre diesel from BMW. It's essentially the exact same as the M57, the three litre diesel, essentially just two less cylinders. Uh, now, what I'm actually gonna do is remove the engine covers, just so you can see the engine in a bit more detail, then we'll really get into things. Okay then, so you can see the engine in much better detail now. And the first part I'm gonna mention then that will, you know, you can pretty much ensure that it's gonna fail within 100,000 miles or so, is going to be the glow plugs. And if we take a look down here, you're probably not even gonna be able to see them, but they are underneath the intake manifold. Obviously we have one for each cylinder. And if your engine has covered 100,000 miles and you have no history of the glow plugs being replaced, I would recommend doing them. If you leave them much longer than that, then you can pretty much guarantee that they're gonna get seized in the head. And when they get seized, there is a chance that you can end up snapping them. And obviously that is gonna cause you a whole load of bother. You may have to remove your uh, cylinder head or you may have to get them extracted. Um, but yeah, if you can get them out, you know, nice and early, I would recommend doing so. With the glow plugs, I would also recommend doing the glow plug module as well that sits down uh, down there, down at the back of the engine. I would recommend doing that at the same time. Now, if you do have multiple glow plug errors, then there is a chance that it is just your glow plug module that is bad, but I'd just recommend doing both of them at the same time whenever you are doing the glow plugs. Like I said, they should last 100,000 miles or so, but if you can get in there early, um, you know, go ahead and swap them out. And that brings me on to my next part then that you can pretty much guarantee will fail around the 100,000 mile mark. And that is the swill flaps inside of the intake manifold. Now the swill flaps, they do need to be removed in my opinion on these engines. Now in the later N47 and N57, they do not need uh, to be removed. They can be left alone in place but it definitely is an issue on the M47 and M57. The screws come loose from the flaps and then the flaps can end up falling down into your intake ports and obviously can cause a whole bunch of damage to your engine because it turns out that soil flaps aren't actually compressible. So um, yeah, I would go, I'd recommend removing your intake manifold, um, you know, removing the swirl flaps, fitting swirl flap blanks and at the same time, obviously, you can go ahead and give your intake manifold a good clean. And that then brings me on to my next part, which is the EGR. Now, I would only recommend cleaning out your intake manifold if you wanted to go ahead and remove your EGR valve. Now, your EGR valve is pretty much gonna be um, completely clogged up by 100,000 miles or so if it, if it has not been cleaned. Now, like I said, you have the option of blanking it, you know, fitting a straight pipe and then blanking off the cooler section of it. Or you can just keep on top of things and periodically clean this. Now, I would recommend cleaning the EGR valve every 30 to 40,000 miles or so, just so you can ensure that the valve is not getting shut in the, just so you can ensure that the valve is not getting you know, stuck in the open or closed position. If it gets stuck in the open position, so you're only letting, you know, hot exhaust gases through all the time, there's a chance that you can burn a hole in your intake manifold. The next part to fail then around the 100,000 mile mark, and you're probably gonna have to swap it out every 100,000 miles or so, is the crankshaft pulley or harmonic balancer. 
for the crankshaft and it just sits down here at the bottom as you can see this one has actually failed i know that this is not the original because on a genuine bmw crankshaft poly the teeth are straight and uh, as you can see this one is angled so this is definitely being replaced at some point but uh, like you can see this has failed again and this engine has covered 205,000 miles so if i was to guess this is probably uh, been replaced once before and this is likely the second one on here and I'm going to be replacing this yet again. So if you have covered 100,000 miles or so and you have no history of this crankshaft poly being replaced I would recommend you at least inspect this thing. You know when it's going to fail because the rubber inside it will tend to crack. What eventually ends up happening is this becomes two parts it splits in two and then it just rips your belt off and you can actually cause a lot of damage by doing so now when it comes to replacement pulleys i would not recommend getting a cheap chinese pulley you're just going to be in the same position six months down the line and you're also going to know, notice that you're going to have a lot more vibrations as well if you get a cheap one. They are just not built the same. I'd recommend getting either a genuine BMW one or a Febby Bilstein or a Cortigo, something like that. I'd not recommend getting a cheap £50 one. You need to spend the money on these things and then they should last 100,000 miles. Another part to replace then if you have covered 100,000 miles or so is the crankcase ventilation breather which is just back here as you can see this one has already been replaced this is a aftermarket vaco one the earlier crankcase breathers on these actually have a filter that needs replacing every other oil change so if you have one of those i'd highly recommend you know upgrading it to the later vortex style ones which essentially should last forever you can you know go ahead and clean them out but the diaphragm inside them can still fail um, so you know this is only a cheap 25 30 pound um, part if you want to go for a something like a Feby Bilstein or you can go genuine BMW of course um, but yeah I'd highly recommend replacing this um, if you have no history and you've covered 100,000 miles or so and the final part then and this is not really something that is dead certain to fail around the 100,000 miles mark but it is very common to do so and it is in fact the turbocharger which you cannot see because it's covered by the air box but it is very common to hear the turbos on these failing at 100,000 miles or so now the main reason for turbocharger failure is the lack of oil changes it is very very important to change out the oil at most every 10,000 miles do not listen to bmw and change out every 16 18,000 miles at the very very most on these engines every 10,000 miles now me personally i like to swap out my oil every five to six thousand miles you know swap it out with a good oil filter and you know good quality proper grade oil and um, you're good to go you know it's fairly cheap to do so so i i like to do it you know twice a year or so and that's really the same for all of the other service items as well you know just stick a fresh air filter in every year or so um, you know fresh cabin filter um, fresh fuel filter you know do a coolant flush every three years or so but you know all these things are very very cheap to replace and if you do replace them regularly it's going to ensure that your engine and your car is going to continue running well you know for the foreseeable future okay then so that has been another video on the bmw m47 and m57 engines i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please remember to give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so and i'll see you all in that next one peace